time. Juggling and maths? Yes. When people find out that I can juggle, the first thing they say is, I can do two. And they usually do this. Two balls in a circle. Easy to understand, easy to do. The problem is, when you try and do three in a circle, much harder. And you can tell that just by the sound and just by watching my hands moving faster than humanly possible. But that's not the easy way to juggle three. The easy way to juggle three is to have one in each hand and one in the air. As the one in the air comes down, you throw the next one. Always having one in each hand and only one in the air means that you really have plenty of time. The difficulty is the accuracy of the throw under pressure. And if you want to learn to juggle, it's that accuracy of throw under pressure that you need to practice. But that's not all that you can do with three. There are many, many things you can do with three. You can do simple things like this, slightly more complicated things like this, weird things like this, even through to the apparently complex and impossible like this. And that's where the maths comes in, to understand all of the possible variations on three and possibly more, balls, clubs and more. And that's what we're going to investigate, the patterns in the patterns.